instead of buying that size 8 just buy a size 10 it looks like you are forced to enter inside it my sister it is too tight for these leggings and i could literally see every line of all those things the trash hi china's room here if you're seeing this place for the first time please consider subscribing because i'll be putting out more content like this today i would like us to talk about everything classy expensive in terms of looks in terms of dressing how to look better how to appear better five mistakes you're making that is making you look cheap and tacky and at the same time i'll give you guys five ideas you can you know put here and there to make yourself look expensive and classy while being on budget before i even start this video i just want to put out this quick disclaimer that the tips i have for you in this video are not standard per se it's not like you cannot dress how you like or you cannot have your particular style of dressing but if you want to look classy if you want to look expensive while being on budget you should always avoid doing these things i'm about to mention it doesn't mean that once in a while i am not caught in that situation but i am always aware that whenever i'm in that situation i know i'm looking cheap and tough first off before you say you can dress how you like and your dressing does not matter just so you know remember that your first impression matters and you're not going to be given a second chance to make a good first impression so you have to make sure your first impression will be a good one and majority of the time people might not have time to talk to you to hear whatever you have to say but they will have enough time to see you from a distance and just be like okay this person looks like this this person is most likely this type of person so because of that you would always want to take your dressing into consideration your appearance you don't want to be looking like someone that does not have her life or his life together because this applies to both men and women you don't look at like someone that is very confused and whatnot you just always want to look at least good together get me so one of the ways that you can look cheap and tacky even if you're buying the most expensive clothes is wearing tight clothes <clears throat> your body con or your crop tops your singlets your tight skinny jeans your tight trousers all those things the trash <laughs> now i don't literally mean throw it in the trash but if you're trying to go for the expensive look if you're trying to go for the classy look you don't want to be wearing something that is showing every single curve in your body like it's so putting out a lot of things in your body especially when you're wearing crop top and you know you know your body type and then you're wearing a very tight crop top the whole of your stomach is outside it looks like you are forced to enter inside it my sister it is too tight that is why you look like that yes crop tops are cute and you know you can show off a little belly and if you're not interested in showing any belly you can always put it on with a high waist which i highly recommend but if you want to show off your belly then you want to make sure you're wearing something that is not too tight something that is your size and now instead of wearing tight outfits where you're showing each line on your body when you wear body cons where every single mark on your body can be drawn in a picture or you know your shadow can show every single curve on your body also when you wear all these singlets where your bra straps can show from behind or outside all the singlets where you should use um where your bra straps will show when you wear your normal bras with it or when you're wearing a dress or a trouser and your pants lines are showing most of the times when your pant lines are showing it's most likely that that trouser or skirt or gown is way too tight for you that it has to start showing those lines and those lines are not decent or pleasing to anybody's eyes they always make you look cheap it makes you look tacky it makes you look like you don't even know where you're going to like you need to go back home now i'm not saying if you want to just walk down the street and buy something to eat at home that you should start trying to dress classy dress no i'm just saying if you're going for an occasion and you want to appear classy and expensive you want to consider not wearing bodycon dresses you can wear dresses that are straight and almost bodycon but it should not literally be tight like i have this gown that can pass for a bodycon but it is free and loose on me but it is not a flay gown it's not so loose that i can't even feel the lining of the clothes i can feel it because it is still on my body but at least from my stomach down it is not grasping every single inch every single line and mark in my body 
because I don't let it. Instead of buying that size 8, just buy a size 10. Buy a size 10. In bodycon, I always recommend going a size higher. And if you're more on the bigger side, you want to make sure you are buying something that will give you a better fit and not gum every single part of your body. All those things always just look so tacky and cheap. And I'm not even lying. You're wearing your show bag and you're putting on a bra. Why are you showing us the bra? The show bag is to show your back, not your back and your bra. Your inner wears should not be seen when you're wearing an outfit. It is not um, pleasant. It just makes you look too cheap. But if you're trying to put on clothes, whether it's tight, you don't want to be showing your underwear, your undergarments. You don't want anybody to see your panties. You wear a low waist trouser and I can literally see your pants because your pants is high waist. It doesn't make sense if you're going to put on a low waist trouser then your pants should also be a low waist type of pants you shouldn't be wearing a high pants and you're, that doesn't look class that looks really cheap and you know everybody have their own style though but to me i would always say that doesn't put you off as an expensive chick or guy or whatever seeing your undies even so even your boxers why should i see your boxers from your clothes your trouser is there to cover it so why should i be seeing it obviously you don't know your way of life <laughs> but i'm just trying to give you guys this basic understanding <clears throat> your bra straps your panty lines should not be seen from your clothes it should not be seen on your clothes those mark that your clothes will give you when you wear your bra and you wear maybe a singlet or a body contour and we can literally see the fold where the bra is the part the bra is causing the body to bend inside please that is not your size it is not your size size up quickly and if you're more on the big side you want to make sure that all these one size fits all clothes you try it on before you leave the shop or store especially if it's bodycon if you're buying a bodycon one size fits all you want to make sure that that one size fits all will give you a better fitting and majority of the time it won't so you always want to make sure you are buying something that could have sizes as somebody that is on the big side but if you're on the small side you might not always fall under that trap you might easily run away you might easily escape this but you know the bigger you are the harder it is to find um body cons that will not literally tie you like they want to tear you apart and also for wearing your outfits that have um where your bra straps are showing or wearing a show bag instead of wearing your regular bras you go for your boob tapes you go for your handless bras that way you can wear your tight clothes and not too tight though not too tight but you can wear your tight clothes or your body con dresses and still look classy white in it another thing that would make you look cheap and tacky is showing too much skin i know this can be controversial your top is off shoulder your back is open and then you're still wearing shorts that are literally very short and the top is almost like it's just a bra that could pass for a top these days everything should be in moderation you can wear a top and you know you're, you're showing your back or you're showing your shoulders and then you wear a trouser that is fully covered that is moderate you can wear a top that is fully covered and wear put on shorts that is moderate you know like why are you showing so much skin when you're not hot i know the weather can kind of affect the type of dresses you wear but even in hot seasons like wearing all these outfits where it's literally like you're not wearing anything you cannot look classy in that you cannot look expensive in that if you want to look expensive and classy try to always put some sort of moderation in what you're doing if it's the up that should show more skin then only the up should show more skin not the up and the down if the down should show more skin then only the down should show skin both of them showing too much skin will just make you look like you don't even have clothes in your wardrobe and such person to me you will always look cheap and tacky regardless of how expensive whatever it is you bought is another thing that would make you look cheap and tacky is wearing those gym wears i had to say this wearing those biker shorts and your leggings without wearing something long enough to cover that shape under there i don't know what is the trend these days but whenever i see gym wears i'm always like what is the aim of this outfit what exactly are we wearing this for and yes it might not be wrong for the gym wears to look like that because you know people say they want to be able to stretch well while in the gym they want to be able to do this and that but to me it doesn't look any classy when you're wearing all these um 
leggings and i could literally see every line of <laughs> you know what i'm talking about like why should we be seeing that v-shape why it is very unpleasant and if you want to wear gym wears those gym wears are cute they're fine but if you're going to be wearing such outfits outside then maybe you should put on all these um lightweight shorts on top of the leggings just something really short to just cover that part up we don't have to see that shape in your outfit like we could literally come on and the worst of it all are those that wear these leggings without wearing a long top and these leggings are literally their skin color you cannot tell the difference and it's almost like you're naked outside you can never look classy that way i'm sorry but that is always what it looks like whenever i see somebody that puts on a leggings and the color is the color of your skin what is the aim and then you're not putting on a longer top and these days if this is some kind of a trend people put on leggings and they wear crop top with it they wear really short tops back in the day i'm sure when i was younger whenever i had to wear leggings i had to wear a long top on it but now you see people wear these outside and they're wearing a crop top with it they're wearing a bra kind of top with it they're wearing really really small tops with this type of leggings and i'm like what exactly is the aim i could literally draw the lining of your body from that like i could see ah god okay i'm sorry i don't want to digress i digress i'm not talking about decency here but classiness sometimes you know goes in hand with decency as much as people like to show off some parts of their skin which is fine you also want to make sure there's moderation and that is what classiness is all about instead of putting on leggings just like that wear with a long top biker short just suddenly came out from nowhere and literally everybody wears like where why are you wearing it for an occasion you're wearing biker shorts you're wearing a small top on top like it looks very tacky to the eyes and naturally wearing those biker shorts without putting on a long top if you want to wear them it's fine but wear something long but most of the time when you wear biker shorts with something long the beauty kind of fades which i understand because you, you look like you're overflowing i don't really get the point of biker shorts i feel like biker shorts should be an undergarment i don't know why that came an actual clothing like i'm like how because it just doesn't make any sense that is like tight that is just thick so it's almost like wearing a leggings that is short without a long top it is not cute to put on those gym wears like that they're not decent they're not classy if you want to put on a gym wear like that then you should try putting on shorts that you know are a bit loose like very loose on you but they'll be very 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 short just so that you can cover the butt area and you know that v mark that will come out if you don't put it on please 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 i beg you i beg you please can we just stop wearing those type of gym wears i know people will be like oh but that's why they're called gym wears please the companies are making it for you i've seen so many funny excuses but companies will make these things for you if that is what you want to buy if there is no demand there'll be no supply if you want to be seen as someone that has some class and looks elegant you always want to make sure that when putting on those gym wears you want to make sure that you're putting on a short on it even if it's a very little short but put on a short that is loose just to give you that decent and classy look and if you're going to put on leggings please make sure to put on leggings way long top even those short denim short that will literally show your butt instead of wearing this type of outfits you can go for office shorts those ones are always so always make you look cute make you look classy because you know they just give this shape where it's not just coming to your whole body and it's it's giving a loose fitting and you can always wear it with your small tops they look cute like that or an oversized shirt another thing that you're probably doing that can make you look cheap and tacky is tying a scarf as a shirt I know so many people would not like this but honestly tying a scarf as a shirt obviously everybody would know it's a scarf everybody would know it never looks good it never did and i do understand that sometimes people tie that because of the material i don't know is this silk the silkiness of the scarf the material of the scarf is what is quite attractive about using that as a shirt but those things like they're in the market like you have where you can buy tops that are of that material if you don't want to get that as that material and you still want to use your scarf because you're trying to do things in a cheap way then whatever you're putting on this type of um tying your scarf to make it um, a shirt or something try to put on a jacket try to put on a blazer on it don't just wear it like that because obviously your back will be funny your back will never look normal your back will just be you can wear it with a sweater a jacket or a blazer just something to 
kind of give the illusion that you're wearing a top we want to be on budget but at the same time we want to look classy and expensive so if you're going to put on such an outfit then you should wear it with a blazer i think that is a very smart thing to do that way nobody can tell it's a scarf and then everybody will also admire the quality of your top the very last one i have for you that would make you look cheap and tacky is buying obvious fake or replica of designer items like designer clothes designer bag whenever i see people wearing this dior dior or doi doi or gucci and then you see gucci or you see <laughs> Fendi or Fendi or Fende, you just see so many obvious fake designer bags, designer clothes, and you buy them. Sometimes it might be in a hurry that you just end up buying it. You don't really look at it or whatever. But I'm just saying, if you have that kind of outfit and you're going for an occasion where you want to look classy and expensive, that should not be what you should pick. I'm not saying you must buy the expensive brand. Instead of buying those things, instead of buying something that you obviously know is fake and every single person that sees you will know it's fake, I am buy a bag that is sort of a dupe. It has that kind of design, but it's not labeled. It doesn't have any brand name on it. It doesn't. It's not a designer bag. But when someone sees it, it looks classy. Like I always make sure when I'm buying bags, I don't buy a bag that has a brand name on it because I know that in this Ochanja, in this Onicha market obviously so many of them will not have designer bags and even if they did at this point in my life i cannot afford such outfits yeah they might have the original ones but maybe you cannot just afford it instead of going for a fake go for a dupe of that kind of outfit like if it's a white t-shirt go for a white t-shirt that doesn't have any designer whatever on it it is just a white t-shirt that way you can always dress and look quite expensive and classy and you're also on budget but if you go and buy those ones everybody knows you're on budget and then you're not even still looking classy you're looking tacky you're looking cheap so now like who is winning who is losing i forgot to mention another one there are actually six ways six tips i have one of the ways to look cheap and tacky even when you're wearing expensive clothes is by wearing ripped jeans now i'm not saying you cannot wear ripped jeans you can wear ripped jeans with just like one or two like at least those ones on the knees or maybe just one single line on your lap area just it should not be in excess like moderation is key when you wear ripped jeans where literally every part of your trousers your ties your legs every part is ripped you just look like someone is wearing clothes that are torn and there's nothing expensive and classy about that it makes you look you know not put together or else that is the kind of look you're going for then fine but if you're trying to look expensive if you're trying to look classy you want to avoid those kind of jeans try to wear loose fitted trousers as i said before if you don't want to go for loose fitted trousers and you just want to go for a trouser that is your size it shouldn't literally be tying every single line in your body it shouldn't be so tight it shouldn't be so tapered that your skin doesn't even have space from the clothes there should be a space between your skin and the outfit it should give some sort of volume you'll be seeing folds on the trousers so much fold because it is way too tight i used to wear that kind of outfit and all the time i wore that kind of outfit i you know, thought I was looking cute and all, and I was looking classy and all, till I realized that that wasn't giving me the classy look. Yes, wearing that is fine if that is what you can afford and if that is the type of look you're going for. But just so you know, that won't make you look classy and expensive. The tips I gave in this video are just tips for you know looking classy and looking expensive. If it's something you're interested in, you really, really want to take these things serious. I'll see you guys in my next video if you enjoyed this one, and if you think I missed any tip in this video, just let me know in the comment section and yeah thank you so much for watching bye